Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, in this one I'm looking at a render settings, so I want to share my render settings. Uh, if you're animating cartoons like this and you want the soft shadows, uh, they can take quite a while to render per frame using the default settings because what happens is uh, if you want soft shadows you go to the distant light, that's the default light, and then you add, you change the angle from 0 to something like a 10, then you get uh, soft shadows, but that increases your render times by a lot. So let me share some settings that I use personally. So to give an example, this uh, frame here was rendered using the normal lightwave settings and it took about uh, 1 minute and a half, 1 minute 30 seconds but this other one is using my own settings and it rendered at 58 seconds so if you're rendering a lot of frames this uh, this is a huge uh, time reduction so let me go ahead and show you the settings that i use so to start with instead of using the uh, the distant light and changing the angle to add uh, soft shadows what I do is I use the environment light. So the environment light lights everything up. Uh, but then when it samples the background here, uh, these these uh, samples are too many, too much. So you can just disable this. You don't really need that sample background. And then uh, on samples, increase that to 10 so that at least the image before the anti-aliasing is done is relatively not very noisy so increase your samples to 10 and then go to your shadows and right click and drag until you get to a something like a 50 so that the shadows are a bit softer they're not so dark and then reduce the light intensity to something like 1.8 or 1.9 because the uh, environment light is quite bright and then go to your render settings render properties and then remove uh, the GI, the global illumination, because this is what really increases the render times. And then you can go to the render tab and disable anything you don't need here. And then increase your tile size to something like 256. These are the tiles that you see when uh, Lightwave is rendering. They are boxes you see on the render view. Now if they have to update often, the, that reduces uh, the power or that, that gives more work for the processor. So just put these at 256 at least. And that's it for that. And then we go to the camera. Now on the camera, if for example, you want to render your scene at uh, full HD, usually the images are quite sharp. So you can get away with rendering at half the resolution or not really half because 1280 by 720 is not really half. So you can render at a slightly lower resolution and then increase the resolution later on to give it that soft look because uh, you don't really need it that sharp. And then go to adaptive sampling and remove adaptive sampling. And then deal with the minimum samples here. Uh, I usually put a 3 there, uh, but that's for very quick renders. So if you have a lot more processing power, just increase this number and you get a very smooth uh, render from that. So render at half the resolution and remove adaptive sampling and add your samples there. And then the last thing to note is the frame rate. So it doesn't, if for example you're going to render at uh, 30 frames per second, it's a good idea to animate at half that resolution, which is 15 and that's what I do. But I go a step further and actually render at 15 frames per second because I realized there's no need for this to be a 30 frame per second cartoon because cartoons already have this uh, uh, move uh, from the time the cartoons moved from the traditional uh, animation to now there's always been that low frame rate so people are used to seeing cartoons at that low frame rate so you can get away with it by using something like 15 frames per second and that just that will reduce the number of frames your computer has to render thereby cutting your render time in half. Right, so those are the settings that will lead to this final result that will take something like 58 seconds to render per frame. All right, so I hope you 
uh, learned something from uh, that tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.